pre-recorded service for this Sunday's worship. Next week, please consider coming to worship in person at 1015 on October 25th. This is a very special Sunday for three of our students. They will be confirmed and we are so proud of them and we hope to see many of you there so that we can celebrate together. Let us begin our worship by calming our minds and our hearts with the prelude that our pianist, Emily Buckner, will play called Take My Life and Let It Be Consecrated.
the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. Sovereign God, raise your throne in our hearts, created by you. Let us live in your image, created for you. Let us act for your glory, redeemed by you. Let us give you what is yours, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped, to subdue nations before him and strip kings of their robes, to open doors before him, and the gates shall not be closed. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches hidden in secret places, so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who call you by your name. For the sake of my servant Jacob, and Israel my chosen, I call you by your name. I surname you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make will and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's psalm is Psalm 96, and we will read this responsibly with the words on your screen. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Proclaim God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations and God's wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, more to be feared than all gods. As for all gods of the nations, they are but idols, but you, O Lord, have made the heavens. Majesty and magnificence are in your presence. Power and splendor are in your sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due the holy name. Bring offerings and enter the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord all the earth. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is King. The one who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder, and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy at the coming, O Lord, for you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness, and the peoples with your truth. The second reading is 1 Thessalonians, chapter 1. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you. We always give thanks to God for all you and mention you in our prayers, consistently remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor, of love and steadfastness, of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you, because our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, and with full conviction, 
just as you know what kind of persons we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord. For in spite of the persecution you received, the word with joy, inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For the world of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Then the Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he had said. So they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and teach the way of God in accordance with truth, and show difference to no one. For you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. Then he said to them, Whose head is this, and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Then he said to them, Give therefore to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard this, they were amazed, and they left him and went away. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Today's hymn of the day is My Life Flows On in Endless Song.
We will continue with the prayers of intercession. With confidence in God's grace and mercy, let us pray for the church, the world, and all of those in need. Gracious God, you call us by name and invite us to share your good news. Send your Holy Spirit among preachers, missionaries, and evangelists. We give thanks for the witness of your servant Luke, the evangelist, whom the church commemorates today. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of praise, the heavens and all creation declare your salvation. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the whole universe show forth your goodness. Raise up devoted stewards of all that you have made. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of all, may your word of justice sound forth in every place. Restore divided nations and communities with reconciling truth. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of light, we pray for those living with pain, illness, isolation, grief, anger, or doubt. Join their voices in a new song, assuring them that you call them each by name. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of truth, you show no partiality. May your spirit guide the work of justices, magistrates, court officials, and all vocations of the law, that your promise of restoration may be known. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Living God, as you raised Jesus from the dead, so raise up those who have died in you. We give thanks for their witness, confidence of your reassuring welcome for all. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Listen as we call on you, O God, and enfold in your loving arms all for whom we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Please make sure to share the peace with one another this week. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Sunday song is Take My Life That I May Be.
Go in peace. Remember the poor. Thanks be to God. We will close our worship with a postlude by our pianist, Emily Buckner. Please remember that next week is Confirmation Sunday, and we wish our confirmants the best of luck in their journey in Christ. <laughs>